morning friends uh, welcome back to another new video i am taking the train from navi mumbai to kolaba to meet aparna vinod who is doing a solo ride from kerala to gujarat let's meet her and enjoy the ride perceived as a transport for the underprivileged and less fortunate people in many urban areas individuals who opt to cycle uh, have to face social stigma additionally the infrastructure and weather conditions in most indian cities is not conducive for cycling roads are overcrowded poorly maintained and lack of dedicated cycling lanes make cycling an unsafe activity however brushing all these difficulties aside there is one person who is defying all odds and setting a new precedent for women cycling in india welcome to my channel i am vijay malhotra founder of pedalandtrinkring.com today i have with me miss aparna vinod Welcome Aparna welcome to Mumbai the city of dreams and i would like to know your first impressions of the city thank you vijay for the warm welcome uh, coming from a very small town i had my own uh, concerns and fears about a metro of this size but uh, let me say that i felt home in mumbai and my first impression is mumbai is home for all it gave me the first uh, freedom and opportunity to move around so um, i always love that independence and the feeling when you get when you are on the go um i am a tourism professional and uh, my focus has been on sustainable lifestyle and travel and cycle is my uh, uh, method of communicating with people about what i think uh, we all should be Uh, trying to follow these days so that we have a better planet and people love and uh, live in uh, peace and harmony. Um, I'm a homemaker also, so it's very difficult for me to match with uh, community activity. I I miss out on that part. That's probably the first reason why I had to decide for a solo trip so that I can do it according to my uh, convenience and my uh, schedules. Uh, the other thing is 
I love to explore things on my own. I like to take a bit of risk and um, see what is happening. I like to see it for real. And we say, right, we um, believe it when we see it. So I wanted to explore India. And I thought uh, it would be a meditative experience to do that all by myself. Hence, uh, the uh, solo trip. I can be very honest, no? Yeah, please be blunt, sharp. Okay. Okay, um, the most challenging uh, thing is one, the lack of uh, clean public toilets. I have to drink a coffee from a nice uh, a restaurant or buy some food from the clean place so that I can use the toilet. Um, that was one main challenge. We badly need the infrastructure so that anybody, be it a cyclist or a motorist, uh, for them to go and use a nice toilet is very important. There are a lot of issues associated with that, especially for women. Then the second challenge is to do with my uh, periods. Being a woman, I can't uh, keep that aside just because I planned a bicycle tour. So that made it a little difficult for me uh, to put that also into my schedule. So otherwise, if I calculate that, then my tour has to be limited to 20 days. So uh, that made it a little tricky for me to handle. And uh, otherwise, uh, no, no other challenges which I expected, like how would people uh, respond to me on the road, all of that. So these are the primary challenges which I faced so far. Planet on the 12th of November, that is Diwali 2020. For this trip, I have done a bit of uh, preparation. I have been reading literature on uh, bicycle uh, and I found that uh, there were women in the West who ventured uh, into bicycle tours back then when there was no GPS, no social media and uh, when women were literally not allowed to go out and mingle with people. So then this thought sparked, why not? And these days we have such a big community of uh, people who cycle to work, cycle for sport and so many reasons. So uh, if not now, when? That's how uh, I decided that yes, solo cycling is possible and I must be doing that. I um, made sure that I had one or the other plan in place. So these are the things which I did. Well, then I, yes, I did uh, consult with a very good uh, dietitian, Ms. Nazreen. Nazreen was kind enough to tell me what to do and what not to do. And that helped me build up a food culture for the trip. And um, yeah, I must say this also. The moment I decided that I'm going to do this, then that was my mindset. And my uh, routine, I think I even um, let my life go the way it should flow so that was a major change for a control freak like me i wanted to plan everything and get things done this way and that way so the moment i decided this i started giving space for uncertainty and uh, for natural flow of life to fall in place it was very um, difficult or it was time consuming to figure out my uh, accessories and all that i did a bit of research by looking at pictures of uh, people who are into touring which gave me a fair idea about what all I need. So one has to think through the process and then decide. So I ended up getting waterproof uh, panniers and uh, handlebar bag. That gives me the liberty of riding tension free. I have a bottle holder on my frame and one holder, a pouch on my handlebar also. I had a light coming with the cycle itself, so I didn't have to be really worried about it. And I don't ride at night, so that was not a concern. But I did get a, a tail lamp, a blinker. Then, um, of course, a puncture kit has to be there when you are on the tour. I tried to get a liner for my tires, but uh, I couldn't get it on time. Then a hand pump. Um, I did invest in a degreaser and uh, good lube also for my chain. I used uh, bits of waste cloth from home so that I can uh, use and throw them on the go, which was very handy because with all the dust on the road, my chain had to be degreased twice by 800 kilometers. So these are the preparations which I did for the kit.
this is uh, uh, you know i don't want to be telling all the answers but yes uh, this was one question everybody uh, people who care for me asked how are you going to handle as a woman um trust me so far it has been a splendid experience um, i've seen people give me thumbs up on the way some random people encouraging me for just riding a bicycle so i think uh, bicycle is uh, more of an emotion to many people across different classes of uh, the society so it is a plus point which has made uh, my journey a very pleasant experience to uh, then um, If, in my observation what i have understood is uh, in our country there are a lot of uh, girls who use bicycle to school so in the society at least uh, cycle is the thing for children so it, i think there is an association between cycle and childhood for everybody so a lady on the bicycle is appreciated in that sense also so uh, i did not have any uh, bad experiences Uh, being on the side, people are in awe. Some people are like, um, "Are you really doing this?" And uh, the same questions. It's an FAQ by now, uh, so uh, it, it has been very, very good. I don't know what else should I say. I feel safe in my country. I must feel safe in my country. I'm, uh, I, this is my home, so I'm safe at home. So there is uh, nothing more that I can talk about that. I'm here with my uh, gadgets and you know waterproof bags and handle bar bags. Chalo, these dadas they are they're having big sacks, gummy bags, right in uh, the uh, you know bag seat, and they have two or three bags in their handle bar also. I'm like, what am I talking about? So it's already there in our culture. We have to start appreciating it more, and um, there has to be more and more awareness about. Cyclists on the road. I would like to uh, mention the incident where I was hit by um, somebody on the road just because that person didn't see me. Only. It was a very, very close proximity that I was with that person, and he opened the door of his vehicle as if he never saw a person as big as I am right next to him. So that it has to be drilled down into the conscience of uh, people that. There are cyclists also on the road, so that atmosphere, that ecosystem, has to uh, fall in place in a much stronger way. Um, then uh, I would like to mention uh, Warm Showers community. Uh, they open doors for cyclists, so that makes it very easy for a tourer specifically to keep moving and covering longer distances, especially. Uh, when you're doing it for the first time and all that, and we don't have an environment for camping. I've seen many tourists have everything, literally everything that they need for living on the road. That is not really practical in all parts of India. So I would like to encourage the warm shower community. I'm a warm shower girl right now. I look forward to those people through that. So these are uh, the things. Chalo, we have that. Um, very warm uh, culture where we welcome guests. So I I request that we have a um, little more preference for bicycle tourers in our community, which will encourage uh, touring in a much better way. My next destination is going to be Bodhi, which is the border of uh, Maharashtra and Andhra, uh, which the next day onwards I'll be moving. And my destination is Somnath. Uh, Temple in uh, Gujarat. I am exploring the western coast of India through this uh, trip, and uh, I hope to reach say by around uh, 10th or 11th of December, as of now. So this was Aparna Vinod, and we all should be proud of her efforts and her dedication towards promoting mental health and sustainable tourism in India. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.